Hello, this is Pajamas and Pancakes. Thanks for coming. Today we are setting space, setting our day, and see what happens when you set the energy of your day. And we'll be setting our food. Today we are going to um, first a very simple breakfast because my son just wants a smoothie. So we're going to be doing a smoothie this morning. And then I thought I might as well just do a crock pot and make dinner, so that's jambalaya. And and we're gonna start with our tea. So good morning, good Friday. And here are rose petals with um, lemongrass. And rose petals, we are setting this space at care today, at deep care and comfort and love. So everything that you do, May it be with comfort, may, that, may you be comforted, and may you express love, and may love come back to you. So we are going to take our rose petals. Now, if you had a garden where your neighbors, where you know they don't um, spray Roundup, you could actually do this. So, oh, it smells so good. Lemongrass, rose petals, and this tea actually helps your nervous system it helps you be open and receptive because a lot of times we want love, but we're not open to love. And so even if people give us love, we can't see love. And so today we are going to drink this tea. We're going to be infused, even if you're not drinking this tea, because you're here with me and um, I'm with you, that what we said today I want you to see the miracle of setting your space, setting your food, because when we have food, the food is dead. And so we want to bring life and energy back into it. And miracles happen when you set your food. Look at how beautiful this is. The rose petals are starting to expand. Look how gorgeous. So pretty, I don't know if you can see that, but it's beautiful. So we're going to let, oh, it just smells like, oh. Oh, so now we're just gonna call in source and the planet, and we're going to connect our heart to the rose petals and to this tea and set it at comfort, set it at love, that we may be comforted in love when we drink it today. So when you're drinking your drinks, just say hello to that vibration of comfort and love. And if you've just joined, this is our tea this morning, rose petal and lemongrass. And we're charging it so that it can bring us love, bring us comfort, bring us true care, essence. So this morning we are going to do a um, smoothie. So I have a cup of pineapple. These my son loves pineapple. I have fresh berries, and these are frozen mixed berries. And these are some fresh berries, blueberries, lots of berries, and some wild frozen berries, and a half a banana. And what we're going to do is also put a little almond milk in it. I like this Barista's Blend almond milk. There's a very good also other almond milk called Triple, Triple Trees. Um, that one is great, but you can make your own almond milk and maybe we'll do that. So thanks for joining me on a Friday. And um, what we're gonna add to is a little 369 blend to our smoothie. Because this way, you know, when we make smoothies a lot of times, we wanna add some fat to it because a lot of people will add coconut and we're just gonna add the 369 blend because you need your fats. If you're trying to lose weight, fats are the way to go. And, um, and then we're going to add just a little bit of vanilla. A vanilla to the drink and we're gonna have a little bit of protein drink. So thanks for joining. We are setting food today, setting our space, setting our day when you set your day the whole day starts to match up, like we talked about matching. Matching is when you set something, a vibration and a similar vibration matches and it comes to you. So if you see anything opposite 
of self-care, like this essence, this love coming in. Walk away. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna put a also um, some ice cubes in this. So this is a berry um, blend, berry, pineapple, fresh pineapple, banana. We have a little bit of protein powder, and let's see. faster at my breakfasts. This was a 50 second breakfast this morning. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and, um, but we're going to make, uh, I'm going to make dinner and, um, I'm going to do it in the crock pot. So it's still a breakfast time. So here is, um, wonderful protein drink, a berry blend. And that's perfect. My son wanted something very simple and I made him a, a big lunch. There we go. And um, this will be ready to go. Hopefully this won't spill over in his car. Okay. okay, now what we're going to do, let's see if you can see. Yes, okay. So for the jambalaya, that is what we are making today. Here are the ingredients, cayenne pepper, parsley, thyme, and Cajun seasoning. We're gonna put an onion, two sticks of celery, some chicken broth or stock, uh, bell pepper, salt and pepper, and then what we're going to add to is kielbasa, and um, and then some shrimp I add at the very end, maybe 30 minutes before. It's going to be cooking about eight hours, so that way um, when I have a break in work, I can come in and just add that. We're going to cut this chicken up, and then we're going to add some tomato sauce, some diced tomatoes. And that's it. And isn't that easy? Because then I have dinner and I don't even think about it. So what we're going to do is take the onions. We're going to actually put the onion on the top. Um, in this crock pot, you know, I put the meat in first and then we're going to add this stuff after. And so um, you just get one, you know, one onion and um, I'm not gonna put in, you know what, I, I should add garlic too. I just kind of, you know what I did is, everything in the refrigerator that, you know, it's at the end of the week, and someone, thank you Veronica for asking, you know, she was like, how many times do you go to the grocery store? This week I, um, I was sponsored by my mother-in-law. She gave me $300 to go to, and I went to Costco. I usually go to Whole Foods, so I'm going every day to Whole Foods or every other day. But I went to Costco on Sunday, and then I went to Whole Foods another time. So I'm looking, you know, at about $500 this week in food, and um, that's cheap. I'm doing like so much food; it's, it's unbelievable um, because my kids eat so much. Okay, so we have the onion. We're gonna do some bell pepper. Cut this bell pepper. And um, so I will show you, I will uh, put up a post a picture of my shopping cart. You know, I wanted to see, okay, what is the cheapest way to go? And, um, you know, and I, and I bought a lot at Costco and that was just paper towels, everything. So it wasn't just food. But I have to say that I did freeze uh, a few things and some meat. So, um, Okay, and um, isn't this interesting when you set food too? You don't cry with the onions because we're setting at a comfort, we're setting at a love, and that our food is filled with life because, you know, our food is dead at this time. So we want to charge it with energy and we're just connecting our heart to it. We're connecting to the field, we're connecting to the light force and um, sending our energy out to the food and really bringing our energy back from it too. And so let's just cut up this pepper and then we are going to, um, yeah, this is, this is looking good. This is such a quick thing that the crock pot, I don't know if you have any great crock pot recipes but would uh, 
uh, love to say or shout out, hey, cook this. And um, or you cook it and send me a video or that would be great. So here we go. Here is, now we're gonna um, also do these two, celery. And um, I don't have much room here. Okay. So welcome if you're just joining today. We are, it's Fairy Wing Friday and um, it's all about setting our space today. So set, set your work, set your, uh, wherever you go in an environment, if you're going into a store, I put a bubble around it and I infuse it with uh, comfort, with support, with essence, with love. And, um, and it's not like you're seeking love outside of you, but what you're doing is you're filling up with it. And that moves outside of you. And then it's like breathing, it moves out and it comes back and it fills your heart, it fills you up. So we're gonna just put this aside because I'm gonna put this on top. And we are going to um, just cut the kielbasa. I don't know if I'm saying it right, kielbasa, or I can't remember. So um, we're just going to slice this. Now, this is uh, jambalaya. And jambalaya is, you can make it several ways, but what I did is I looked in my refrigerator and I had, uh, I actually had shrimp in the freezer so I pulled that out. I'm gonna add that in at the end. And I'm just using, you know, what I haven't cooked this week. And so I'm, there's no particular recipe here, even though I am using the Cajun spices, you know, and um, this gives it a little spice. I'm gonna use cayenne pepper, and then I'm gonna put probably a little bit of hot sauce on it too. And I will add that in later, but, um, you could smell kind of like the fiery, snappy, um, you know, energy of the meat. So we are just setting this meat and we are thanking it for giving itself to us and that we are going to do something great today. Or we're just gonna care for ourselves today. You know, real self-care and um, what we can, you know, what our body wants to do. Maybe ask our body what it wants to do. Okay, so this I'm gonna put right here for a moment. And we're gonna take the chicken and cut this. So I would love to hear, um, that is what I'm setting my space at today, is love and um, essence, like essence really filling me up in the body so I'm alive, so I have energy and bringing essence into this food and really setting the food. And you know, you may say, how do you set, how do you set space? Well, there is, I have my Kim uh, energy tools to do that. And um, I teach courses on that, but um, something very simple is we're grounding it. We're grounding it into the planet because um, you know, it has died and we're returning it back to the earth. We are connecting it up to the star or to a light and uh, having its spirit go even with plants. Plants are very similar to us. And so they have an energy field and, a, and, and so we have a biofield. So we are moving, you know, it back up. So it can return to source, return to the light. And we are asking that uh, this is infused with light, infused with nurturing, infused with love. And you know what the easiest way, you know when your kids get older, it's hard to tell them what to do. And we want to be making sure they're doing things. But the reality is, now we're gonna start to put this in. The more you tell them what to do, the more you get in their space. And the more you get in their space, the more, you know, they become overtaken. So we're gonna put the chicken in. Put this in here. Put this down here so I can show you. <clears throat> 
And then we're going to um, add this kielbasa. And so the easiest thing that we can do is set the energy of everything. And that way we are not getting into their space because it's kind of like being that helicopter parent. And it's so hard, it's so hard as being mom because, you know, we know kind of what needs to be done. We want to be efficient. We, you know, it's like, do this, do that, do this. But, you know, we want to give them space, lots of space. So we can just set our, our food and they feel it during the days. And that way we don't have to say anything, but we're creating space for them to be in it. Because when we drive our attention, this is time, and I'm just gonna, um, when we drive kind of, you know, what did you do this? Did you do that? It's just, they start checking out. And if they start checking out, they're not in the body anymore. And then it's very hard. If they're not in the body, then what is? What comes into the space? Because the space does not remain empty. It gets filled with something. So we are filling our space with figure eights and we are filling our space with love and comfort and care. So, you know, cooking is can be drudgery, especially if you have little kids, it's just so hard. But if you, in everything that you do, if you can really bring you know energy into it fill it up fill it with life then it actually gives you energy like cooking is not necessarily when i used to do it for my kids it was like oh you know yet a, you know groundhog day again and again but now it's like when you start to fill the food with life and energy now this is cayenne pepper and um, so it is, it's got spice and a kick to it. And um, we're gonna add some salt and pepper too. And then we're gonna have add a cup. Here's my cup of, um, look at that, you can smell it. And we're gonna add a cup of chicken broth, some organic chicken broth. And now um, this is served with your favorite rice. You could do brown rice, you can do white rice. My family, um, I don't, sometimes I eat rice. Um, they like, um, let me see here. They like white rice, basmati rice. Sometimes they do, um, you know, different rices, but okay. Now, um, let's see, I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. And you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that I kind of need to add, um, I need to add maybe a, another, no, this looks good. Okay, so now what I'm gonna add on top is I am going to add the onions, green bell pepper, and celery. And so that is gonna be on top. We're gonna turn this on low. It's gonna cook about eight hours. And then after, I'm gonna put the shrimp on top. That's about 30 minutes until it's done. Okay, so we're gonna plug this in. And there's dinner. So, you know, jambalaya pot pots are very easy to use. And, you know, I just made breakfast. <laughs> so let's, let's, Recap, so here is the um, smoothie that I made this morning, which is fabulous. And it has fats in it too, 369 fat. And, um, and then jambalaya. And today's energy tool is really bringing in, setting the energy of our food, setting our day so that we are filled with light, that we are filled with love and comfort, and that we are just spinning, spinning, round and round, up to the stars, down to the ground, connected, bringing energy in everything we do, because if we are in, things flow to us, love comes to us, money comes to us, we receive. So be open and receive, and thank you for joining me, and have a great weekend. Thanks.